trying to take care of my family. I'm also trying to build a, a business outside of that as a speaker. And there's just a lot happening right now. What advice would you give to them on, on just how to, how to balance it all and, and make sure that they're not uh, uh, lo losing at home and, and ultimately really costing them? Yeah, I, I mean, you know, one is definitely establishing boundaries because if you get, when you do make that jump, you there, there's still it, it's crazy when you're then working for yourself as a solopreneur, you never want to stop working either because it's there's always another mm -hmm. LinkedIn connection to get. There's other no always a post to do. There's always someone to be like, you know what? Oh, I need to reach out to them to speak to their company, and so. It's not like this is just a one-time deal where you get this figured out now and then you don't have to worry about it. Because when you're a solopreneur, I mean, it's you want to work all the time. And so it's yeah. it's establishing boundaries. Like, what is, do you and your spouse agree to? Like, hey, maybe on Tuesday nights you work late to, to work on the speaking. Maybe two Saturdays a month you work on speaking to, to do business development. But find out what is going to be sustainable for the family because working all the time, that's not sustainable and no one likes that. And so figuring out some boundaries and then also just having faith in this idea that when you work, you can get the work done. I remember when I, when I wrote uh went home first book, I came across this idea of Parkinson's law where work will expand to fill the time that's allowed it so basically if you had eight hour day and you had six hours of work it's going to take all eight hours because you're going to look at facebook and then you'll start to work then you'll get up and you go to the bathroom then you'll come back do some more work and so you just see how it expands to fill the time and i think for anyone who is in business right now that's happening to you that's happening to your employees everyone's kind of doing that but then there became this, you know, corollary, Hortzman's corollary to Parkinson's law that says our work contracts to fill the time as well. So if, if it's true that it expands, it's also true it contracts. And then, you know, that idea is that you can take a 10 hour workday and shove it into eight hours. And a lot of people are like, nah, I don't know if you can. Yeah. The day before vacation, it's amazing how much you get done. You know, you send off the emails you need to, you made the hard phone calls, you, you made the edits to the document. I mean, you, you crank it out. And so I, it's that idea that if you get very detailed and structured with your day job, but also with your side hustle and the speaking, but you get very structured, you'll be amazed at how much work you can get done when you're showing up more intentional. When it's that multitasking and toggling back and forth, that's just when, before you know it, it's like 8 p.m. at night and you've worked all day and, and, and you're just exhausted. You don't feel you have not, a lot to show for it. So an encouragement would be establish boundaries with your spouse and then get serious about your schedule.